I felt something there. I felt, yeah, that pyrite was in, in my spirit for sure. <laughs> it was great, man. It was awesome. It felt so good. I knew I knew I had it in. His hands were like stuck in there too. That's why he tapped with his feet. Because then he couldn't like wiggle out. It was either sleep or feet, you know? I like that a pretty explosive start with, the, with him jumping at, with his jumping attack. What was going through your mind? Was that the beginning of the fight? Yeah, he's he's pretty wild, you know, he's aggressive and he takes risks. I said that before the fight, I kind of knew that watching his last fight. Um, but I knew my experience, you know, would play a role in this fight. And once I got a hold of him, I felt a big strength difference and that kind of helped me like calm down when I got him down on the ground and uh, I, I kept him in position and I knew once I passed guard, I was going to get a finish. And was that part of the fine going in to sort of test him in the, uh, the round? Yeah, for sure. I knew... Uh, He's comfortable on his feet, so it's best to just put put your opponent where he's most uncomfortable, and that's what, that was my plan. With a great finish like that, where do you think that puts you in the division? Do you think that maybe reminds people that you are still a dangerous person to pay attention to? Yeah, you know, I think uh, it, it's nice to feel loved loved again, you know, because for a while, just you know, two losses in a row, my my job on the line and everything, a lot of pressure, had to pull out of a fight due to injury. So it's been a long road to get back here and to know what this feels like again. So uh, that's the main thing. But yeah, you know, uh, it was them bringing in a new contender, like who's here to stay? Are we bringing the new guy in or is this guy still good to go? And uh, I proved my point. Do you think maybe those tough times may have helped you in any way? It's just like strength in your resolve or anything like that? Yeah, definitely. I feel like uh, the mindset in this game is hard to keep consistent all the time. You know, I've been doing this for a long time, 30 pro fights now. Uh, you get burnt out sometimes and you, you know, you come off some losses and you have to reevaluate and see like, you know, do I want to keep doing this? I'm 33. Can I, can I make it to where my vision was to the top, you know? But uh, this is all I know. So I knew uh, I had to get a win tonight and keep my stay. Well, I mean, how do you go about reaching those goals? Like, what fight makes sense? What fight next, you're saying? Uh, I would like to fight April 18th in Brooklyn. I think that makes perfect sense. You know, three months time. I'm from Long Island, New York, so uh, right in my backyard, that'd be great. And any particular opponent you feel would be a perfect down I hate wasting a call out. I, was, I would like to fight Sean O'Malley. I think that guy's got a lot of hype behind him. I could steal some of that and, uh, you know, uh, we can move on from there. But I know he's booked in February, so it's hard to kind of gauge that. You know, if he gets a quick win and can rebound, then I think we could fight in April. Yeah, that's just something I do more like a hobby type of thing, but I do uh, write a lot. You know, I've been writing for a while and I just kind of do it like for fun. It's like therapeutic for me to do something to break up the day in between training and stuff like that. Uh, and like, is that, is that something like you want to take forward as a career or is it always going to use your main Fighting is my main thing, but I would love to. You know, I think uh, T. Woodley needs to come see me, man, because uh, people are people are saying Boom is the best rapper in the UFC for sure. So you're challenging Tori Woodley to a rap battle. Is that what's happening? I don't know if it's a rap battle. Is that a freestyle? Because that's a little different. But I'll challenge him to like who can make the better song. <laughs> Pyrite, baby. <laughs> So what, what kind of rhymes are you going to spit following this fight? What do you have to say? Oh, God, do I have anything right now? See, that's the pressure. I knew I was going to get myself into trouble with that. Uh, I don't know. So I got the victory from the pyrite. Uh, I saw the vision because my eye's tight. I don't know. That's it. That's a quick, that's a quick line for you. It's a good start. <laughs> it's a good start, yeah. I don't want to mess up after that one. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.